tell me, honey, do you feel the same? We're gonna catch that. Yeah, you know that you know it. Turn the mic on, Mike. There you go. The mic is now on. So I believe we could well possibly be live on YouTube. Let's have a look on here. What the fucking hell is that? So that we... How's everyone doing? Turn the mic on, Mike. There you go. some adverts on, so I can't go straight on. So I believe we... Could well possibly be live on YouTube. Let's have a look on here. What the fuck is that? So that we. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Turn the mic on. Oh, I hate the map on, so I can't go straight on. So I it. believe we. Uh, Could well. Stable. Let's try that. One day I will get this right. The music shouldn't be going. I think it's because I got desktop audio on at the same time. <laughs> oh, what a, what an evening I've had. First of all, um, bless him, Santos that lets me know he can't do the um, show. And then I'm going live now and it's all going tits up for a change. Uh, so... Anyway, hello, I am here now. This, can you hear me properly yet? Is that sorted out? Me that's yeah, that's it. That's, um, that's sorted out. Yeah, so we were going to be doing um, a, a live review of Sporas Della Canto, uh, uh, fogging out with the va Batman's uh, juice line. He was going to be coming on with me tonight, uh, but um, he messaged me a couple of hours ago saying he's got a new computer, a new PC he's building, and uh, they sent in the wrong RAM, and he's got to go for a two-hour drive. That's what he told me, so I'm not going to argue with him because he's seven foot tall and about 300 pounds in weight. So uh, if you are watching, Santov, big love to you, sir. And we will do it next Saturday, uh, 9 p.m. instead, so no dramas at all. So what we're going to do is instead is just um, have a little chat with you because I had it all set up. I was looking forward to going live. Uh, I've got a couple of beers in, so we're going to do that. Uh, I might even do a couple of the uh, taste, some a couple of the juices. Leave the rest of them to next week. Um, we got some first looks, uh, and I've also got um, the little pod, the old Vapor SO bar. I could even review this because we have done a download section. So we might just give the Vapor SO bar a little uh, review tonight. So anyway, hot microphone. Why are you saying hot microphone? Oh fuck off. Is it still not good? I hate everyone who says things are wrong. That's all right, isn't it? The sound now. Never know with you lot whether you're taking the piss or not. Exactly, uh, Mick. Right, is the uh, is the sound a little bit too loud? Why is it a bit too loud? Today?
was. You can't fucking hear me now. It's but I just give up anyway because you never know if everyone's taking the piss or not with you lot. Right, it must be coming from that. Mute that. Right, anyway, let's get back to it then. Fucking hell. I hate going live, I tell you. I, I've been brought up in the PC generation. I know my electronics and stuff. I used to do computer music, stuff like that, so I know what I'm doing. But when it comes to streaming via OBS, what are you doing, Lise? <laughs> what are you doing creeping round on the floor? Hey? You can see you anyway. You might as well have got up. Hey, I, I tell you what, she's a lunatic. What are you trying to do? Plug it in. I'm trying to plug my laptop in. Why, is it not charging still? No, it was still switched off. It wasn't switched off, it was on. Oh, for God's sake, I tell you. No one can do anything in any time. I've been ready for about two hours, and then it comes to it, and then everyone decides to make cups of tea, start playing with their laptops and everything, needing to be plugged in, and every, everyone leads it to the last minute. So, uh, hence, I go live, and I'm stressed as fuck. But anyway, let's uh, give a few uh, shout-outs. That's the joys of living in a house for the people in the family. Right, we got Late Night Vape showing. Jose Lopez, what's up, buddy? Simon62, as always. How you doing, mate? Hooked on Funk, uh, we've got Chris Dahl, what's up, bud? Uh, Adrian Mason, good evening, everyone. Lockdowns, eh? Indeed, yes, lockdowns. I've been in lockdown since March, so it doesn't make a blind bit of difference, mate. I'm still in this chair as I am every day of the week. All right, we've got uh, Rufus, uh, AVC, even in all, any spelling mistakes, I blame it on my mobile laptops being repaired. <laughs> you and Batman's both, mate. Uh, Lynn Smith, what's up? Russ Knight, uh, under Boris, we're all having a meltdown. I don't think you can say it's Boris's fault. It's more like the general public's fault for st not staying two metres apart from each other. Uh, I won't have Boris being ridiculed on here because uh, at least we haven't got Corbyn or um, the other Muppet in charge, the anti, uh, uh, whatever they're called, Semonites or whatever they're called. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, Oaks on Funk, Michelle B, what's up? Black Country Vapor, evening everyone. I'm good, thanks mate. And uh, that's about it. Not many other chatters. Trigger Vapes, uh, we've got Late Night Vapes show. Rob Gain. Ash, uh, who else? Evening, Becca Lumps. Thanks for tuning in. David Chuk. Evening, Lisa's Elbow. Yeah, indeed, mate. Uh, Jackie Chan, even Mary Golden Chat, watching us about to eat our curry, so won't be chatting too much. Bingham is want to say hi and let you know that we are the Chans are in the house. Big love, Jackie. Thanks for tuning in. I'm watching the rugby. Uh, that's Michelle. We got Ross Vegas. Love it, brother. Uh, Lisa, we had a new cannon ball. Yeah, bless him. Was, was it Tommy? No, Bobby. Bobby, isn't it? Bobby, who's it? Bobby Ball. Mm. Who's the other one? Tommy Cannon. Tommy Cannon, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bugger. He died of CV as well. Mark Yarn, one love, brother. Indeed, mate. Cheers, bud. Disco Potato. Hello, all. Uh, Lynn Smith, I think we've had you already. Bob Cumming, evening, mate. It's not smoke. Those anti semolinas are a bad bunch. Uh, yes, uh, we're not talking politics, but I'm not much of a fan of the Labour Party, uh, and it's not because I'm rich. Uh, I don't earn above the national average wage. It's just that I prefer um, uh, the other parties, uh, anything other than Labour, basically. If Liberal weren't such a bunch of tob uh, tossers, I'd probably support them. But, um, uh, yeah, that's another story altogether. Boris was the closest I could get to for going with the sort of things that I believe in. Uh, Liam Dovey, how you doing? Right, so here we go. We are drinking a little bit of uh, Strongbow Dark Fruits. We've got a few things undergoing here. As ever, 
let me know in chat uh, because because I'm not actually doing a review as such, even though we will do the Vaporesso bar while I'm at it. Um, I'm just going to have this, take this as a bit more of a relaxing, literally a one-to-one -one with you lot. So if you want to stay here, uh, once again, apologies, Santos couldn't make it. He's just bought a new laptop, putting it all together, and he's had... He sent me three or four messages. I only saw them about an hour ago. But basically, he's got to drive off two hours to get some more RAM because they've given him the wrong RAM for his uh, PC. So, uh, like I say, I'm not going to argue with Santos. Uh, I believe him. He said, we'll do it next Saturday instead. So that's what we're doing. But, uh, yeah, so I've got uh, all this juice here. I was getting really geared up to reviewing it. We got uh, 11 RDAs wicked up as well. So we might do a little taster of two or three of them or something like that. Also got a few bits in this week as well, so we can always uh, show them off. What you are with you on that, Mike? Bob Cumming. Nice one, brother. I'm using the Ultra and the Gaia. Gaia! Uh, Fallout Vape Mob with the QP Juggernaut V2. That sounds like a nice setup. Uh, my Juggernaut V2 is in the drawer at the moment because uh, we've got the Reload 26 on my dual cord at the moment. That will be reviewed uh, in the next few weeks when I get around to it. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, anyone tried the Vape Hub Brunhill Top Corner RTA? I'm thinking about getting one. Uh, I've not had that one. I had the... Um, yeah, I did have that, didn't I? The Brunhild mod. What was the other one? I did have a Brunhild, the, the big one with the steel rods. I think I might have reviewed it, but I didn't like it. It didn't wick very well. You had to turn it upside down all the time. So a bit uh, shat, if you ask me. Right, let's read out what you're vaping on then. Right, David, A2K, what the hell does that say? NLP, WM, and a V235mm of Ultra. Some Drasbury tea from Flavor Boss and chocolate flan from Batman is crap. I've probably got that one in here. Or I must have because I've got the whole range. So we might try that one out. Like I say, just because Santos is in it doesn't mean to say I can't try out some juices. So I think we will do a few. Um, Rufus is on the GT4 on Tech Division mx1 that sounds pretty up market mate the brunhild is decent i have the mouth to long one pretty good i have i did have the 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 big brunhild i haven't tried the mouth to long but it was really good flavor chris but believe me cut and wicks better than steel rods uh, that's just what i, I uh, my experience with it because basically you have to lay the cotton on top and then you've got steel rods and what i found is you have to tip the uh RDA up the other way round in order for the juice to go through the rod so yeah and I wicked it up a few times so before anyone says it's not shit wicking uh, I don't believe you I just didn't think it was that great maybe it's not very good with Max VG anyway I'll show you what I'm vaping on we've got the Relo 26 uh, RTA here it's only Bantam 8 MF Vape uh, Tree of Life box mods dual parallel and we've got point zero mind your own fucking business in here. Where are you, Batman? Here we go. I do love this. Flavour banger. It's a bit more restrictive than the JKV2, but the flavour is mwah. So if you like your restrictive dual call... Um, direct to lung vapes I think you'll love the Reload 26 man you've been taking TVP wicking tips for the Brunhild I'd never had to do that that's what happened with me mate uh, didn't find it out. it might have been okay if you tilt it all the time but I'm not an RDTA fan so I much prefer an RTA because you I know I had a wick RTA, he's near harder, so. Ash got the Rido not, yeah, I must admit, if you don't like uh, restriction, even if you take the AFC ring, it's still restrictive. But it took me a few days to get into it, but I think it's really nice. The flavour is just top notch. 
So you can do this one about 60 watts and you're not going to have any issues. You don't need to go up to... I'm probably pumping 100 plus through this because we've got it on a uh, mech, uh, basically a MOSFET mech mod. But um, you don't have to. But I like the hit you get when you're doing it like that. Full nature vape setup tonight from It's Not Smoke. We've got the Nest RDA with black currant raspberry and lime. Nice one, mate. A nice juice, that one. Uh, right, we've got uh, ABCs on the Drew RTA on the tech mod with uh, RY Hoar by Chef's Flavours. Uh, sounds nice, mate. Is that like a caramelly tobacco sort of flavour, isn't it? FP on the e on the e sig 114 pounds. Yes, they are, mate. I've still got mine, so I haven't bothered getting another one. Have you ever tried the Dragon Brand vape? No, I haven't, mate. I don't try many juices, to be honest. Uh, I mix my own normally. What I va normally vape on is just jam, either strawberry, raspberry, or uh, summer black currant, or kernel black. And sometimes I mix up some of my own juices from Dark Star. I've just had a mango -y orange one the other day. And uh, I've got loads of different flavours. But uh, I don't tend to like uh, pre-bought juice that much because it's too sweet. Uh, but, uh, yeah, going on to Batman's juice, that is very sweet as well. But uh, the flavours, the, I've tried a couple of them and, and uh, the flavours are very good indeed. We've got no bitter aftertaste or anything. Uh, like I sometimes get with these biscuity type vapes. Uh, but we will have a little go on a few a little bit later. Seen a lot of people panic buying stock calls and juice on loads of FB groups. I'm in for a month lockdown. I'll never have that issue since I mix my own juice and build my own calls. Yeah, exactly, Ash. You should be able to get all that. Everyone buys online anyway. You don't need to worry about it, do you? Even though we're going into lockdown again, uh, your vape shops... Um, online ones will still be open tobacco caramel and biscuit yeah i've never tried uh, ry4 but i have had a few uh uh mouth to lung salts in recently for that uh, pod that i uh, got but uh yeah so that is that it's not going to be a long one tonight, guys. We've got 54 in the house, so you're all legends. Big love to you all. Apologies once again. Batman will be on next Thursday. But uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put that Vaporesso bar thing on. Just have a little unboxing. If you've got anyone, any smokers out there who want to get into vaping, uh, you might want to send them this way. Share it out on... Uh, social media and whatever get a few people in here because we have got the vaporesso bar pod here which uh, i'm going to do a little live review i haven't put it in the description because i forgot about it basically and i just remembered that i have uh, actually recorded the um, download bit all right something else we've got uh, today we will have a good look in a minute but i'm going to just have a puff on it It's basically the Aspire Mix and the Nautilus GT Mini in Sapphire Blue. But we will have a good look at that uh, very shortly. This is the Ares 2 Mountain Lung RTA. We've got the Glint mod here and I borrowed the tip off the Nautilus GT. So it doesn't look too bad. Just got a little bit of stainless there showing. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool, this one, actually. Are your custom-aged skins on the Max and X still on? Yes, they are, mate. Um, <laughs> cheeky fat. Here we are. We've got the Aegis skin here. Luckily, I've got the Max out here, mate, because I uh, um, don't always have it out here, but uh, we have done here we are, MF8 one. You can get all sorts of on Halloween ones, uh, breast cancer awareness ones, all sorts. Have a look at customagis.eu uh, or Hooked on Funk, uh, 
f- find him on Instagram custom dot ages I think it is on Instagram maybe Chris Dord or someone uh, of a spanner variety might be able to put the link in no one else would be able to Lisa's busy so she's not going to be able to either nothing I need a a link just wondering not being cheeky yeah and on top of here we've got the Le Supersonic by SXK it's not uh, it's actually a replica of an Atti which is worth a a lot of money and I've had it about three years uh, and it's that's what I've been vaping the Batman juice on so we've got that on the go as well all right, we've also got the BP Mods Pioneer RTA in tool mode because I bought the extension kit as well. Uh, we've got the Stars of Orion mod here. But we'll have a look at these in a minute. Uh, I'll talk about these all in a minute. Have a quick puff and then get on to this little uh, review. Right, Chris has just put the link in there. So if you want to check out where you can get these Aegis skins, follow that link. They only cost about 5 or £10 depending on what one you get. Cheers, Chris, for that. Right, let's have a look. Um, right, here we go then. Vapor SO Bar live review. So here's the box. A quick look around. We've got a scratch and check there. 1.2 milliliter capacity pods you get with this one. We go up here. Right, there's your dimensions. So we have 110 by 13 by 13, 1.2 mil capacity pod, resistance of 1.2 ohm uh, mesh cores, 350 ma battery, 13 watt maximum power output, charging current, 0.5 amps, 5 volts. Takes about an hour to an hour and a half to charge this one. In the box, you get a the bar device. You get two pods. You get the cable and the user manual. Keep out the reach of children and minors. There you go. And there's a little bit about the address on there. All right, here we go then. That's what we're looking like inside. So anti-counterfeiting message there. We've got a little instruction manual what's this one airflow adjustment reminder i'll show that in a minute the canon was playing out a little little bit there with the focus and then that's the instruction manual i think the other thing was something else actually it's probably a warranty card but there you go that's just confirmation of the the specs right so here we go then is the spare pod that come with it USB C this one. I could say just plug it in. It might be quicker than that actually. Uh, I think it might be less than an hour. But I can never work it out. I just plug it in for a bit and then when the light goes off you know it's charged. Right, my one's a little bit battered where I dropped it on outside, but there you go, the Vaporesso logo there. A little indentation. It's not actually a light that one, uh, but um there's your airflow holes. You've got them on two sides. There's your little nicks from where I dropped it. Right, that side, you can see the LED light there. It glows up white. And there's Vaporesso bar laser etched on there. Uh, having trouble with the focus. There we go. But yeah, if you plug it in, the light will go out after about three quarters of an hour, an hour, something like that. Right, look inside there. There's your little two little contacts. You can't really see much because it's uh, light. Airflow comes in through the side. It's actually only on one side. I don't know why I said it was on both, being a numpty. But there we go. It says 350 ma. Made in China. I paid about £16 for this with... Uh, couple of pods with it and i think i got free bottle of juice from e-cigarette direct right so there we have the pod and you'll notice there are different uh, like lines well that's where the airflow goes so that's the uh, narrowest position there there's where the contact is made 
you've got slightly fatter lines so if you want slightly more airflow even fatter again and put it in that position there to get the most airflow uh, just show you, it's, it's basically easy you just put it apart and put it in whatever way you get a little silicone bung there which I find easy to open using the other end of the mod just push that open there and this works very well with Nick salts so just get your bottle I've got some tobacco flavor here tobacco carrot momo so it's really nice actually caramel tobacco so fill up your little pod takes 1.2 ml of juice and what I do is leave it in there for a good 10-15 minutes uh, before you start vaping on it. It's not too bad actually, it, ta it, it doesn't take too long. But um, you can't really prime it up. You could try and put it through the top, you could put some juice through here just to get that core wet. But you might end up flooding it out a little bit. So just leave it in there for a good 10-15 minutes and that should do the trick. And then... Basically, you line up whatever side you want to have the airflow with. And I, I have the tightest one because, for me, it's perfect like that. And that is basically it, guys. So let's go back up to the main cam now. Right, so that is the Vaporesso bar. We do have it here. At the moment, I've got some a, a fruity one in. I think I've got some a strawberry. can't remember who it's from now. Uh, it's 20 milligram strength. Let's have a little puff. Anyway, what do I think of this? Like I said, I did pay dirt cheap for this. I E-cigarette direct. I think I, they had a 20% off code on. I'm sure it was something like 11 or 12 pounds. You get your two pods in there. I bought a couple of extra pods and I think that was something like four or five pounds for the two extra pods and I bought some Nick salts four or five different varieties of Nick salts uh, the tobacco ones uh, are pretty good some of them I've left them out at the back there because I'm unprepared but the one we've got in here is a strawberry flavor so I'll talk about like bill quality and all of that first maybe later on I might go and get them but I can just talk about them anyway but uh, yes Extra lightweight, this one. You can put it in your shirt pocket. This comes out of me whenever I go out in my car, go to the shop, go for a little walk. Super discreet. It doesn't weigh a thing. We've got the USB-C on the bottom, so you just plug it in. You can vape while it's charging, which is a good thing. The battery on it isn't the biggest in the world, uh, so you, you might find you need to charge it at least once during the day. Depends how much you vape on it. I like to use these in conjunction with other vapes, so... Uh, yeah, like I say, it's a 10 or 15 pound uh, mod, this one. So it's not going to break the bank. You could always buy two of them, have one on charge ready, and then take one out with you. Uh, getting a couple of extra pods is a good idea. But to be honest, the pods seem to last a, a, good, a good time in them. I did have one. I've lost the other one. But I had it for two weeks, and the flavor was still good on it. But this airflow thing is quite ingenious because you've just got the airflow through there so you just literally turn it round to whatever position you want let's put it in the widest position here right for me that's too airy on a one to ten scale i'd say that was probably seven to eight out of ten um for a pod it just means the flavor uh, diminishes so for me personally it's perfect on this smallest strip if you look at that there that strip there it's perfect there we go works a treat you're getting some really good flavor from this from a pod device it's one of the best uh, pod devices um, i've ever owned Cheap and cheerful, nice and lightweight, but the flavour is really good on it. It works really well with these Nick salts. Get a good hit.
Yeah, so if any newbie vapors out there, you want something that's decent, I suggest getting one of these Vapor SO bars. If you like tobacco, you're not ready to go on the fruit flavors. Uh, there's quite a few different um, flavors that you can get. Um, like I said, I've got them out the back and I can't remember what they are. I will try and get them in a minute, but uh, some of these Nick salts um, that you can get these days are, are very good. Some of you might not like Nick salts. You might want to try what they call freebase liquids, uh, which basically um, aren't quite so... Some people find Nick salts, they get a bit of a reaction to them. Um, for me, I find they're fine. I think it get, gives you a good nicotine hit when you use Nick salts because of the way they're derived, basically. Uh, but um, overall, with this pod, I think it's um, it works very well indeed. Nice and lightweight. The battery is probably the, the biggest con for it because it's, it won't last you forever. So I suggest maybe getting two of these devices so you can have one on charge while you're vaping the other one. You might want to take two out with you if you're out all day. Uh, but if you like me and you've got yourself a vape tank and mod, something like this, uh, you want something as a backup just to go out and about in, I think the Vapor SO bar gets a big thumbs up from me and it's... Uh, not a bad little device at all. So I do know that Neil Subohm Silver reviews uh, has also reviewed this. He reviews for ECIG Click as well. He's given it his uh, pod of the year. So fair enough. I haven't had many pods, so but I probably agree. For the ones I've had, it probably is my pod of the year as well. But like I say, I don't get many in. Ricky Batman's line in 12 milligram is damn good for MTL. Yeah, all the ones I've got are in 3 milligrams, mate. Type C is about 40 mins on the new calibre. And yeah, this one takes a little bit longer because I think it's only 0.5 amp uh, charging rather than your 2 amp or 3 amps that you can get these days. I've still got my Stars of Ryan Mod and everyone took the piss when I bought it. Fucking love it, mate. I've had this about three years. A bit of an OG side by side, all that doesn't go. So it's like the old Pico type mod, but um, yeah, nothing wrong with it. I did review it on the channel a few years ago. I have an authentic supersonic. Forgot I even had it. Wasn't a fan, but it's been a while. I should try it out again. Yeah, it's all about the core position in with the supersonic, mate. It's um, you can't get massive fat builds in there but that's like, like what mine's looking like you see that airflow so i've got the core raised a bit because i found you get better f f coverage if you can raise that core so the airflow can get uh, underneath it you might want to try that out because i've heard other people say about that but this is uh, one of my best single corn rda's what flavor is the scratch and snip Cheers, Chris. Put my Instagram on there. Could worse. It could be a fiesta. Oh, wait. What could be a fiesta, David? Don't don't knock the ST, mate. Awesome cup. I like Mama's pudding rice. 50-50 only, or can you vape thicker? I think I tried 60-40 in it, three base uh, trigger. To be honest, I, I a lot of my mouth to lungs. This one, I'm vaping 80-20, uh, the uh, Aries 2, and it can handle it even in my bedroom, which is quite cold. So I've, I've, I might have even tried 70-30 in it, trigger, but I can't remember. Admittedly, with pods, I do tend to do 50-50s because it just there's very small cores in there and the juice in there aren't very um, big, basically. So it's just, it does work best with 50-50. Since it's Halloween, you should play us a wee tune, Mike. Uh, I'm not playing any tunes, Michelle. I don't know any. I haven't got my guitar, anyway. Have an issue with the focus. Oh, I suit you mean, mate, yeah.
Right, anyway, let's go down the table again, show you what else we've got in. See if this does work. Only going on for an hour or so, guys. Anyway, if you want to ask me something, please do so in chat. Do we need a light on? Let's have a look. That looks pretty good, actually. Right, a few people have been asking. This is the Stars Orion mod here. The review is on the channel, one of my first reviews in the first year of the channel. So, single 18650, this particular job is. I paid about 20 quid for it at the time. They did used to do a DNA version, but this one is just uh, their own chip. It's by um, uh, Stars, a company called Stars. You can just see on there. So there's your fire button, there's your screen. We have got the gold-plated fire buttons down there, your up and down buttons. Um, we have got some lights that you can uh, program to come on as well. A little bit of knurling around here. On the bottom, it's USB um, uh, B, this particular one, but I, I just use uh, my 18650s using an external battery mod. A uh, couple of Looks like hex style screws if you want to take it apart and we do have a bit of battery venting inside of there I don't think there is a positive but if you look on the lid there's a, a little negative there which shows you negatives on top so one thing with this the threads are a little bit crunchy once you get it it's all right there you go orion comes on five clicks to turn it on and there you go so cheap and cheerful this one see how many watts it goes up it goes up in single increments up to 75 watts no round rubbing on it there's your display power there's your watts voltage resistance etc battery marker one two three is it three or was it four or was it that One, two, three, four, five. That turns it off. One, two, three, four, five. Fucking never remember these things. I'm sure it was three clicks. There you go. There's your modes. So, you got your TCRs, your stainless steel and all that rubbish. Bypass. Just put the light function on. That's in bypass. Yeah. select light what's the matter with it there you go right color there you go you can go through all your different uh, colors so if you've got a particular drip tip you like you can go through all that what one have we got on that particular mob we got green or red What's the matter with it? Here you go, let's have a bit of green. Take it off bypass. Why has it gone on to bypass? Put it back on the power. Put that down a bit. And we'll have a little puff on this in a minute. So that's the Stars of Ryan. If you want to check out the review, have a laugh at me about two or three years ago. Right, I'll have a look at chat in a minute. Uh, just showing off a few first looks here, guys. What we got here is uh, BP Mods, the Pioneer. It's been out for ages, but I thought I'd buy it. Got it over from 3F8 with 20% off. We also got the extension piece, but this is really good. Like you get an autumn tip, you get a clear frosted tip and you get two extra tanks as well as your original tank. Now this is the, um, the way I've got it in here is with the extender kit in. Uh, but so this is the original tank. So you're getting three tanks in there, three drip tips as well. And you also get different, uh, airflow inserts as well i'm not going to get them out now 
But uh, yeah, not too bad at all. I think it was with a 20% off. It was, uh, I don't know, I think it was 30 something euro with 20% off. So it wasn't too bad. With the extender piece, you're getting, you basically get a spare mouth to lung uh, piece as well. Is that right? Am I talking bollocks? I think it is longer, that one. Yeah, so that extender piece, you can have it in mouth to lung, so you've still got the reduced bore, or you have. Um, Put it in detail mode which is what we got here so just take that base off you can leave e-liquid in so that's what we're looking like inside there that's detail mode i've just got a little fuse clapton in there and as you can see it's moist as you like airflow hole you get different pins for it i've got the biggest pin fully wide open and it's a really nice r tl what do you call it restrictive director lung The only snag I've got is these threads here. Trying to get this on straight is a bugger. Don't know if you, you've got one, haven't you, Kieran? Do, do you find that as well? Peace. That is a fucking con getting that, that bottom bit on. But you've got adjustable airflow here, so you can just see there. You can have the. You can have the slot. Put it down like that keep on going you can just expose the different holes so i haven't tried this in mouth to lung yet i'm just using it in direct to lung sort of around about that sort of position there and putting it on top of the stars orion and we got quite a big big bit of juice flowing here because if you take that top off nice bayonet as well I'm not quite sure how much it holds. It's a good five mil or so though. Massive juice hole. We've got a bit of vent, uh, heat fin on the top as well. But first impressions, I'm really enjoying this. It's a flavor banger in uh, director lung. So I expect it is in mouth to lung as well. But I haven't tried that yet. We only got it a couple of days ago. So looking forward to that. We will be reviewing it on the channel at some point. What's up everyone who is actually bothering listening to me? I do appreciate it. Just doing a few first licks, uh, looks for a minute. I'll come back up to ch chat in a minute. Don't think I'm ignoring you. We will, I will go through all your uh, comments and that very soon. But that is that. Uh, so really enjoying that. We've also got the Glint uh, mod here. We've reviewed this with the Nautilus GT kit, if you want to check out the channel. We've also got the Ares version 2. And if you have got it in black with the black uh, tank, you can't really see the branding. So um, I, I've i seen that they've done the special edition, but for me, it's not too much of a nice. So I think it looks all right, uh, especially with the Nautilus GT tip on. But it's a cracking tank this one it's nice and cheap i got it for less than 20 dollars or something like that from source more if you do want to uh, pick one up but cracking mouth to lung tank that one is right reload s uh, not reload s reload 26 we did have a look the other day but uh, right so the airflow on here is a, a little bit peculiar so to adjust it, it's rather like the, is it the Digiflavor Link? Links, I should say. Got loads of juice here. But to undo the airflow, you unscrew this. A bit juicy at the moment where I've just recently put e-liquid in. But you basically just unscrew it like that. And then you can expose the, the holes on both sides. So some of you, this is going to be a bit too restrictive uh, but for me, I think it's right up my street. So you can take it right off or just adjust that how you wish. Right, this one's actually a screw top. That's what we're looking like there. A bit of a gasket inside there. That tip's actually from the uh, Hellvape tank that I've got. 
can't quite remember what one because the the one that comes with it's like a, a silver color but it's extra low profile and it's too low profile for me that's a look underneath we've got 26 written on there sneak peek at the deck so there we go so we've got top airflow coming through the top there's your what we're looking like inside there and here's my little build and i've had this build in here for about two weeks uh the color of the juice is actually purple anyway but as you can see that looks pretty tidy leave your legs a little bit short we've got um gta style here so the airflow comes down the side through there through both the sides and yes yeah, so as you can imagine that nice little compact chamber with those two pretty big calls we got in there big complex calls uh, we're getting some awesome flavor and these threads on the bottom are really good one of the best tanks i've got for a bottom base that tank that thread just goes on there just like that so really nice rta this one it cost a few more quid but i paid i got 20 percent off le petit vapeteur i think the last day of their sales today if you want to use code hallow 20 good job i didn't have the bubble on there if anyone does want to check out le Pe petit vapeteur over in france free delivery if you spend over i think it's 30 euros something like that but yeah check them out get lots of decent stuff from them so we'll go back down there in a minute i've just uh, just come back up a second getting a bit thirsty down there right how are we all doing them I bought the stars after your review. I was skint and wanted something that wouldn't break in the week. I remember TVP hates that mod. What do you think of it then, John John? Is it still lasted you? Like I say, when you're paying 20 quid for something, you've got to say that in the review. If I paid 120, I might not have given it such a glowing uh, review. But for the, the value of what I paid, uh, you know, it still works now, three years down the line. Can you say that with all the mods you've got? I don't think so, probably. trick is putting the plastic bit in first duh, duh, duh. are we talking about the um, BP mods there yeah that's the other con I've noticed them um, we got uh, plastic threading onto metal which isn't ideal but uh, we will review it at some point Mark Yarm did the base rubber seal cause you problems at first on the Pioneer uh, I've only just got it, mate. Uh, like I said, I'm having problems getting the base actually off and on. It's rather like the Aston Arte uh, is like that as well. Because um, the trouble is, you've got like that plastic bit and then you put it on and it just, it doesn't go on evenly. Like, whereas I just showed you with the, the reload, the threads on here, it just goes on piece of piss because we were using real glass. And... Uh, but yeah, it's like the O-ring gets in the way and snags it. And then I find it very hard to get it on horizontally. My brother always says I look like I'm sucking on a robot's cock. <laughs> yeah, that the, the tip is very low, mate, on the reload. What's up, Steam Machine from Germany? How you doing, brother? It's still working. I don't use it all the time, but for the price, it has to be one of the best buys. Exactly, John. John. I don't use it all the time, but when I get a nice stainless steel uh, Mautzelunger, I just think it looks pretty dope, as they say in America. Cheers, Chris. Right, we've got 48 watching, only 29 likes. Hit the thumbs up. Much appreciated if you do, guys. Helps get me up the... Uh, search rankings and all of that if you are enjoying the show if you're just watching this and ghosting big love to you but feel free to uh say what you wish on here you got any questions i've got a couple more first looks in a minute and we'll have a quick go on a couple of the juices uh, of batman i'm not going to do them all because it'd take forever the fruity liquids you could recommend that you enjoy 
Well, for me, I like my black currant vapes. So, Kerno Black, um, it's a, it's what they call a one shot. So you buy the, um, what do you call it? The, the uh, concentrate. Like you get like 37.5 mil and then you have to top it up with your own VG and Nick shots. But if you go to uh, kernoflavors.com or Nom Noms is where I get mine from as well. Uh, they've usually got 20% off and I think Nom Noms has got 20% off this uh, weekend. So do ch- ch- check it out. I don't know if Chris can maybe have a look for the website. Kerno Black, if you like that sort of thing, it's a black currant aniseed menthol grape. If you don't like that sort of thing, don't get it because you probably won't like it. Um, other t- juices, like I say, I like my uh, summer black currant by Just Jam. If you want to buy it to uh, concentrate, you can buy a 30 mil concentrate. Uh, Nom Noms does that as well. Or you can buy short fills, but they cost loads more money. So I don't recommend doing that. Um, yeah, or Just Jammy here, you can get. 250 mil bottle shot. If you like your strawberry jam, go to e-liquid flavor concentrate ELFC. Uh, you can get a bottle like that for 9.99 RIP. You need to put your own VG and uh, Nick shots in. Do believe? I got it off and it's 20 percent off, so I paid eight quid for it. But you're getting a nice big bottle of juice for a tenner, so it's not too bad. Yeah, Nom Noms are good concentrates, but they do sell Kerno flavours as well as your Just Jam and all of that. If you want to look at the actual flavour concentrates, have a look on Nom Noms' website. But the I've had the Anise Berry from Nom Noms. That's actually good. What's up, Grant Munnins? How you doing, buddy? Well, I'm just going to have a little puff now, a little breather. It's hard work when you're on your own. Was rooting for Ireland, but France is kicking butt. Yeah, the rugby's on again, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not too interested in rugby, to be honest. Only in the World Cup. Especially when there's no crowd. It's better when there's crowds and things like that. I'm much more of a football guy myself, or darts. That reminds me, the darts is on tonight. Uh, ITV4. I'm much more interested in that than rugby. Cricket I like as well, but rugby's probably my least favourite sport. Cheers for that, AVC. Yeah, Le Petit Vapoteur is obviously French, but um, when I use my phone, it's, it says translate to English. You just press that. Uh, but, or just do what AVC says and click on the flag at the top. I like the Dinner Ladies Tobacco Liquids. Yeah, I'm not really a tobacco fan, although I have bought some tobacco Nick Salts for that pod. Some of those were all right. I'm trying to remember what ones I've bought now, but they're out the back. I'll have to bring them out another time. I love just love seeing all those sexy bums. Fair enough, Michelle. That's what I mean. It's a rugger bugger, isn't it? Just reviewed Doozy's Vape Greek Delight. Fucking awful cheese. Nice one, Neil. Check out Sub Home Silver Reviews, guys. Got a little YouTube channel. Does written reviews. Darts World Cup coming soon. Indeed, uh, Steam Machine. Not sure who we've got, actually, for England. And, uh, was it Rob Cross and uh, someone? I think Gary Anderson and Peter Wright have uh, uh, withdrawn because of COVID. We'll have to see whether it goes ahead or not. Was it Michael Smith and Rob Cross? Might have been. Yeah, any other questions, drop them in chat. I'll just show you what else we got in quick. Just go down low. One more puff on this. Best e-cig, best cig liquid as a sale on fruits and tobaccos. Cheers, Simon62, mate. Yeah, any sales you want to put on over the Halloween, put them in chat if you want. You can't put links in there, though, because it'll probably say it's spam. Uh, 
Uh, Anesha Crystal, and he can put links in because he's my spanner. Have you done the Ness review yet? Oh, ABC. Snakebite fan. I, I like Snakebite as well. And he's got, he lives in Norfolk, so he's really an Englishman, really, even though he likes playing for Scotland. <laughs> but he sounds like an Englishman. Right, think of something you want to ask me. I'm going to go down low for a minute just to show you the other purchases. Right, here we go. A Spire mixer in Sapphire, because they got some new colours. And because I missed out on the original uh, goings, I've decided to get one late on, but I just wanted one anyway. Probably review it, but... Um, if not, I wanted it anyway. But there's your little box. Good thing with this one is you've got... You can have it in 18350 mode. If you've got some small 18350s, you can put this little reducer tube on and you get a couple of little posts in here to make it a little bit smaller, which is awesome. I'm really pleased with this particular mod. So here we are. We've got separate purchase here, which is the Nautilus GT. Have a quick look at that first. I've got the, this is the Nautilus GT Mini, I should say, but designed by Typhum, but I think it looks sexy as you like, if you can call a vape device sexy. But we've got a blue top, blue cage and all of that going on. Takes your Nautilus BVC calls. Uh... There you go, Typhon, Typhon, Nautilus GT Mini. And uh, yeah, the flavour is just as good as the original one. I'm not sure if it's any better because basically it's just using the same cores. But it might be marginally better with this because we've got 22 millimetres instead of the uh, 24 with the original one. Right, so here we go then. So this is single 18650, this jobby. But to just take a look at that. I just think it looks pretty damn good, especially in this sapphire blue. So you've got a spire there. There's your fire button. There's your little post things I was talking about. So unscrew top. This particular one's got a silver top. Apparently the tuxedo version, which is the black and silver, it's got a gold top, which will not please everyone. We take single 18650, put your battery in just like that, and threads aren't too bad on here. It's quite easy to do up. And there we go. But if you want to put it in 18350 mode, incidentally, I've just ordered a couple of 18350s. I had to go to Torchy's uh, website because he's the only one who seemed to have them in stock. But we can put this tube in here. You just unscrew these. Uh, top screws here and you can reduce this down so you can have a like it's going to be like the bantam box or something like that uh, so you take the top off put it on here instead using these particular uh, reducers here so i'm really looking forward to it got a couple of 18350s now they only have like 850 milliamp hours but when you're vaping it around like uh, 10 12 watts it doesn't really matter so looking forward to having those like i say i hopefully review this in uh, due course this will accommodate a 24 millimeter tank let's get one off here just to show you right here's the aries v2 look better with a stainless tank obviously but just to show you we can fit the 24 on there perfectly reviewed this on the channel if you want to check out the aries v2 and that is a proper review not a live review so put this tank back on just like this so we got the blue version comes in a black stainless blue or gold i do believe and uh, yeah i just think it's quite good it's uh, not quite a match up with the blue but i think it looks pretty cool anyway a different tone of blue just think it looks nice we've got mix on there a couple of lines and of course we've got the 
screen on the bottom and you can switch it round one two three that turns it off I'll just switch it round one two three one two three four is that it there is a way of switching it round it might be that one there's your voltage you can have voltage wattage I think that's bypass that's a wattage is it them two that does it yeah there you go so you can change the orientation of the screen which is called by holding those two in designed by Sunbox they like their side-by-side uh, -side mods that this company do god it looks like I've scratched it on the bottom already how do I do that oh well that's the trouble when that's the only thing of having the screen on the bottom but I just set my wattage and you're good to go. Five clicks turns it off. What well, locks it and then you hold it down. System off, just like any Aspire product. But uh, yeah, really enjoying that one. And we will review it in due course. Else we got and we've also got the wasp nano s which i need to review all these but i just ain't got time to do all these reviews anymore but we've got a couple of calls in here we just need to put wick in but basically you can come through the side so this is like a dual call but you have an independent cause you can put one large call in the center if you want uh, that's what we're looking like inside there and there's your airflow on both sides but the trouble is the changing the airflow on here isn't ideal because if you try and restrict it round it starts like interfering you see there it just interferes with the rest of it so it's pretty crap in that respect that you can't really adjust the airflow unless you just go around this way a little bit I think so even there you can just see it's interfering but it is has got really good flavor this one i didn't like the original one but we did buy that and i got it from le petit vapoteur with 20 percent off and i think it was the other day it was only 15 euros anyway but that is that so that's about it for your first looks back up to the main cam and uh see if we've got anyone in the house still big love to everyone that is watching tonight uh, really do appreciate it if you're just tuning in expecting fogging out with a batman i'm sorry but he had computer issues he just got a new pc and he had the incorrect ram and had to go off two hours and try and find the right ram but he did say that next saturday we'll be doing it instead Right, just scroll up, see if I missed anything. God, there's a few chats in here. Uh, Becca Lumps, apologies if I've missed you say, but what is the draw like on the bar? I'll give you a little puff on it now. It's quite a loose draw, even with the lowest position. Becca, uh which is that one there the airflow comes up through there you can have the different positions it's it doesn't make too much difference to be honest but this this is so it's a, a loose mouth to lung it's um it's got airflow to it what i find that i do is just put my th thumb over a couple of those holes If you want it a little bit tighter, just do it like that. Because I know a lot of mouth lung is out there like it a little bit tighter. But it's a very nice draw in it. Um, for me, I don't mind it a little bit loose anyway, so it's uh, perfect. But for those that like a really tight draw on that uh, very presso bar, um, you either put some tape over it. I have tried putting sellotape over it, but it looks a bit naff. Or just 
put your thumb over a couple of the, the holes. Thai fun for poor guys. So I found like, yeah, but it looks pretty dope though. You can't uh, deny that uh, steam machine. 18 euros, you know, credit where credit's due. You don't have to spend 150 pounds just for willy waving. Uh, you can get something that's 15, 20 pounds and still looks as good and vapes just as well. So not everyone has got 100 pounds, 150 to spend on an Atty. Taifun German quality. Uh, this one is Taifun, but made in China. Though. I'm not worried about things like that, mate. I, you know, my channel is based on affordable stuff. That's how I started out my channel. Lots of different uh, styly type of reviews. But there you go. Each to their own. If I could afford it, I would. But, well, I don't even know if I would. I, I think two hundred pound for an Atu is just taking the piss. Mine's coming up for need and rewicking. Going to try Muji round the call this time. The other cotton strips are driving me back. Is that on the nest you're talking about there? Trigger Vates, big love, people. I'm off to Dream Man, mate. Look after yourself, mate. Thanks for the entertainment. You've probably gone already, but uh, big love, uh, Trig. Hope you and Alison are doing okay, brother. MF, do you have the new Berserker V2? I like a nice Maltar RTA. No, I've never got that one, mate. Vandy May Vape aren't my favourite company, although I did buy the... Um, the RDTA, what was that one the other week? I can't remember what it's called, but I tend not to buy too many of them things because they've been a bit naughty with their customer service with me in the past. ABC, send the watches review. Yeah, don't watch my review on the nest. You can do if you want. The second take was all right. See that trick. Cheech, every time you say that, mate. You could argue that it is a real good job if it makes you money, I suppose. I have a bottle of that sleep and tried it before. Great juice. Not quite sure what that is, but... Uh, it's already converted, but I still don't see the flags, but at least I can read it on my iPad. Just won't be able to use my phone. That's talking about Le Petit Vapor too. Bob Cumming, I've got a Pandora on my mix. Lovely little setup. Yeah, my Pandora, the, the tanks uh, cracked on me and they don't provide a spare one. So, bag of shite in my book. Even though the flavour was really good, they should have provided a spare tank, especially uh, to a reviewer. But there you go. You can only review what you've got. It is a shame because the flavour was pretty good, but I think they fucked uh, Nature Vape over as well by um, uh, saying that... Uh, because him or whatever they got other vendors on board and they said they were going to give him exclusivity at one point mike got some ages skins coming this week hopefully cannot wait nice one what sort of pattern have you got on yours there michelle right guys it is 10 past 10 we've been going over an hour if you want me to review, I'll do two of the juices for Santos is juice lime. If you want me to do them, put an X1 in chat, and I'm not going to do it unless 20 X1s goes in there. Otherwise, we're going to wrap it up. So here's a little example here. Of one of the juices. We will be doing the proper live review. Hopefully next week. If Santos has got his uh, PC in order. Uh, anyone who's ghosting out there. If you want me to do a little juice review. Just type X1 in chat. So I know you're watch watching. And actually give a fuck. That would be nice. We got 52 in the house. Big love to you all. Uh, I hope everyone's staying safe out there, whatever part of the world you live in. Obviously, this coronavirus isn't going away in a hurry, especially with the winter season and everything. Uh, so, yeah, hope you're all 
doing okay and your families are doing okay. Quick puff on the old uh, BP mods. What's it called, this one? Pioneer. That doesn't count, Canon. Get some more people in there. Gives me time to have a little vape. Yeah, so I've got this Pioneer in DTL, 30 watts, 0.49 core. Uh, it's very nice. <clears throat> Five more X1s, otherwise I'm going. <laughs> Come on, I must have five more fans out there that want to see a little bit more, surely. <laughs> Thanks, Lee. And fucking Vicky's live now as well. Free country, mate, isn't it? No one owns. The last hour, anyway. No one owns a time slot, eh, Vic? <laughs> Tom Funk's done four more. All right, I'll let you off. There is 20 in there, anyway. Right, I'm only going to do two. So, I'll show you all the flavours you can get. Mushroom Snowman. Big love to you all that did put the X1 in. It uh, means a lot. Thank you very much. Anyway, 52 in the house. I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, at the end of the day, we're supposed to have Batman in here. So, I can, I can understand if you wanted to just switch over and watch a bit of Come Dancing or whatever else might be on. But... Um, appreciate every single one of you uh, if you are watching you like what you see if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up and if you're new to the channel you like it so maybe hit the subscribe button too and you can be notified of when i'll be going live next hit the notification bell as well what you get on here is proper honest reviews and uh, we've got no patreon no charges i buy uh, most of my stuff now unless i'm given it which isn't very often because i told everyone i didn't want it not long ago so right let's go down to this camera i'll just show you all of the um the doodars right here we are then so Everyone in chat, have a good listen to this and pick me two flavours you want me to try. And uh, the, the one with the most will win them, basically. Well, not win them, but you'll get me to try them out. Uh, so, what's this one here? I can't fucking really read this at all. Pineapple rum upside down, Kate. I'm not even going to attempt to read that. We got strawberry here, and it does say cream cheese flaky pastry, but uh, I have been trying that one. Uh, I'm not sure I can taste the flaky pastry, but we got guava flavy, flaky pastry there. Cream cheese flaky pastry, it says on that one. Canita de queso. We got pineapple here. Cream cheese flaky pastry. We've got uh, pumpkin flan. We've got mango. Nancy's flan cake. Coffee and milk. And coconut rum eggnog. Right, what do you want me to uh, try out then? Pick two.
Let's go back up there in fact. All right, we've got pineapple, yummy, pineapple, strawberry, pineapple, canito de queso and pineapple upside down cake, pumpkin flam, pineapple, pineapple seems to be winning so far, pineapple and coffee, cream cheese, flaky pastry, coffee and milk, eggnog and pumpkin, and coquito, Nancy's flan cake, sounds like a Mac lad so, eggnog, pumpkin flan, eggnog, mmm, To be honest, I've tried the pineapple. No, have I? no, I haven't actually. I've tried the, I've tried the guava and the strawberry. So we'll do the pineapple because that one seems to be quite popular. What else are we going to have with it? Em? Pumpkin flan. Two people have said. Eggnog and pumpkin. Nancy's flan, pumpkin flan, oh man, someone add these up, mixing them together there, coffee milk, coffee and milk and the Nancy's cake, casitos line I've tried all the others, pumpkin, pumpkin, it's out, all right yeah we'll do a pumpkin, that, that makes sense doesn't it, right we go for pumpkin and pineapple, That's all right. Coffee and milk. All right, I'll do three. We'll do three. Pineapple, coffee and milk and pumpkin. Where's the pumpkin one? Pumpkin flam. Is that cool with you guys? So we do pineapple, pumpkin flan, and coffee and milk. I want to try the coffee and milk anyway. Some of you said it, so if that's cool with you, we'll go with that. Right, what should we uh, try out then? Incidentally, I wicked up 11 RDAs the other day, ready for this. Here's the RDA we've got on top. I think this is a Shogun by um, Vapors Cloud. Single core little beast. Can't see that anyway. Sake of argument, we're just going to do it on the Aegis uh, Max here with the Aegis skins on it. Little single core RDA here. Freshly wicked up. There you can just see confirmation of that. Right, pumpkin flan then. Give it a little shake up. A bit hard to open that. Little juicy woozy up. Yeah, so the thing is, when we got Santos, I was hoping, in, hoping to ask him all about why he picked these particular flavours and how it all came about and that. But obviously he's not here, so we'll have to wait until next week. But this basically says, Saboris del, del Encanto, Flander Calabaza. And we've got exclusive, exclusive desert flavor, dessert flavours from the island of Puerto Rico. Right, so here we go. Right, it's coming out at 0.24, put out at about 50 watts, I reckon. 50 watts on the Aegis Max. Vape on, here we go. Hey, 
That is weird because, to be honest, I don't think I've ever tried pumpkin. Uh, butternut squash I've had and sweet and stuff like that. But this has got a little bit of sweetness, so I can I can taste that straight away. God, I swear, have you had pumpkin before? I don't even know what pumpkin tastes like. It's a bit weird because we've got... It's very hard to explain something if you don't know what it's supposed to taste like. It's actually quite nice because I was expecting it to taste really... Um, Has that got coffee in it as well? No, it doesn't say it has. It's a bit like coffee as well. It's pumpkin flam, wasn't it? Not sure what it's supposed to have in it. Does it say on the internet everywhere, anywhere? But, um, yeah, I was expecting that to taste really... Um, savoury but it's quite nice actually it's not too bad I, d I couldn't describe what's bloody in it because I don't know what is in it I need to have a look it smells like it's maple syrup or something yeah I know Ah, it's a vanilla flan, is it? Oh. Right, let's um, see if I can get a little screenshot of that. Put that in the middle. Right, so I've just gone on eliquid.com here. So here we go. Flander Calabatsa by Saboros del Encanto Eju. So pumpkin flan. This is not your traditional vanilla flan. This is great grandma's recipe of your soft, sweet, mouth-watering flan, but made from pumpkin. Not pumpkin pie neither, so no spices added. Let's see if we can find something with a better description. What's the bloody company called? Um, EMB in it. EM, EMB flavour, I think it is. Right. That's not even on there, is it? Is it that one there? Right, product description. Well, that's basically what it says. It's, it's grandma's recipe of his soft, sweet mouth and flan, but made from pumpkin. Not pumpkin pie, so no spices added. Right, so basically I should be tasting a flan and uh, pumpkin then, basically. In the all day. Um, it's very hard to describe if you don't know what pumpkin really tastes like. Yeah, it's not bad though. I can taste some sort of savoury sort of pumpkin-y taste. And there is a sweetness on the exhale. I can't really taste a really strong flan sort of tasting, but... But yeah, it's all right, but it's not something I would vape. Maybe you need to be American to appreciate pumpkin uh, flan and all of that. 
But uh, that's not the nicest one I've tried so far. Right, on to the next one, coffee and milk. Now, I know what coffee and milk should taste like. So. Let's get the website up, see what it says. Right, can't bloody see because I've got that in the way. Here we go, we got the Haku Vena style RTA by SXK, I think this one was. Juice this bad boy up. I have to re-wick all these again for next week, don't I? Oh, shit. Tips just come off. Pumpkin from Donald Trump Farm made with wit and love and small hands, small hands. Right. Right, that's your pumpkin flan. Right, here we go. Coffee and milk. Cafe con lèche. Evening, Sean. Thanks for tuning in, mate. Yeah, this is on me, Todd, this week, but uh, Santos will be here next week, mate. Uh, just doing two or three d different flavours tonight. Catch the rerun. I did review the Vaporesso bar. Um, we had a few first looks, if you want to check those out, buddy. Right, what's it say then? Puerto Rico is known for its coffee, and especially in the morning, but instead of using regular milk or creams, you use sweep evaporated or condensed milk. I used to love evaporated milk when I was a kid, so um, I do know what that tastes like. So we'll have to see. All right, here we go. Haku Vena style RDA with the Aegis Max MF8. Here we go. Fucking hell, that was hot. Oh, that is good. That is... I can tell straight away, as soon as I uh, sparked it up, you can smell the aroma of the coffee. Oh, that is, that really is just like coffee. I've never tried it with evaporated milk, but I can taste it. It tastes bloody good. No, I have a puff on that now. Throw it over. No, I'm not throwing it over. It's a bit hot. Don't go mad because it might burn your lips. Nice, isn't it? Café con leche en España. What's that mean? Oh, muy bien. It's good, isn't it? That Lisa doesn't like anything apart from menthol e-liquid, and she just said, um, what did you say? Muy bien. <laughs> Café con leche en yeah. España. Muy bien. We what? Muy bien. What's that mean? Very good. I'll tell you what, I burnt my lip because that juice just came straight out when I did that one. <laughs> Throw it over here, Mick. How you doing, mate? Is that Sean Biz? Ooh. Yeah, that one, I'll tell you what, that is, I could, I don't like my desserty vapes and stuff like that, but that is actually, if I just woke up in the morning and I had a coffee in that, I'd be really happy. 
Just like being in Spain, Lisa said. I've, I've never really had a coffee in Spain. I'm more of a tea drinker, but that is bloody good. I do like a coffee once in the morning. It is good. On that inhale, you're getting... Oh, it's, the, it's proper barista coffee, isn't it? But really nice. Better than your Costa. Now, on the exhale, you're getting that sweetness coming through. Like, Listen, guys, I don't do juice reviews because I've got a shit palate, but that one is absolutely a pucker. Uh, oh, yeah, it's really good. Much better than the pumpkin flan. I could vape on that. I could vape on that throughout the day. Where is it? Yes, yeah, Café Con Leche. Let's have another bit. Leche. Leche. Sorry, ignorant English there. Good, mate. It's my turn to be at work. All right, buddy. Nice one. All right, let's have another go. Trouble this, Bennett. Done half spit back on you. You can only put a few little drops on. I think I've got the wattage up too high. 32 watts. We won the rugby by the looks of it. Hey? We won the rugby. Yeah, I know they said on that. Oh, I don't know if I want to put an. I think Coolada or whatever would make it. Would ruin it. That is perfect, just like it is. Uh, so, like I say, guys, I'm not AVC. I don't give you all the different layers and this, that, and the other. It tastes bloody good. I can taste barista style coffee, and there's definitely a creamy, sort of evaporated milk taste to it. Like Michelle's saying, in there, it's sweet, but not too sweet. Uh, of all the ones I've tried so far, this one isn't as sweet, but you are getting some proper coffee taste but um it is it is sweet though all these juices are sweet so it's not like if you like uh i'm not sure if i want to vape it throughout the day i'm not sure about that because first thing in the morning i like a bit more of a tarty sort of vape what's up curly chew how you doing brother let's get some thumbs up in this house if you're enjoying the stream, guys, I do appreciate you. But if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up, just to show your appreciation. Right, one more juice to go then, guys. We've already gone past an hour and a half. Twenty-seven in the house. We're going down a bit, but uh, to be expected, I expect. Right, one more to go. Right, it's the pineapple. Right, another flavour banger here. We got the, what's this one called? I can't even remember what it's called. The Elder Dragon by Watofo. This one's been out for ages, but all of these ones, I've reviewed them on the channel and uh, some classics in there. They're really good single quarters. Right, Pineapple, where are you? Here we go. Casitas. What's it say on the, the website? It doesn't say. I can't see it on there there's only about eight flavors so we'd have to just vape on it and see what it tastes like forty eight likes that's all good I'm just asking for more if you're watching now and you haven't liked it just put a little thumbs up all helps with analytics for you bigger reviewers out there, 
it's all relative, isn't it? There's smaller reviews than me, there's bigger ones than me, but thumbs up do help out our little channels. Right, let's see what this one tastes like. See, I'm not getting any spit back from there. That's the trouble. That Venom was a little bit evil. Put a bit more juice on that. Right, of all the ones I've tried, this one is definitely not as sweet, which is good. This is more like a an all-day vape for me. Right, pineapple, cream cheese, flaky pastry, sweet cream cheese and pineapple stuffed inside of the flaky pastry, then topped off with a layer of sweet glaze. Right, cheers, Chris. It could be on a Spanish terrace of that coffee juice. Yeah, it really was nice, the coffee and milk. I don't know if I'm tasting much um, sweet cream trees in there. Do you want to come up here, lad? No, it's easy if you come up. Come on. Oh, come on, just put your laptop down. Yeah, Mick, it probably is actually, mate. I can taste pineapple in it, but I'm not sure I can taste the rest of that. I can taste the sweet glaze as well. But I'm not really tasting much flaky pastry. Let's see what Lisa thinks. Cream cheese and pineapple stuffed inside of a flaky pastry and then topped off of a layer of sweet glaze. Definitely taste the pineapple first. Yeah, but you can't really... Then the cream. Yeah, you can't really taste the pastry, can you? Yeah, that coffee, Michelle, it does sound like... It, it's so nice, you just want to drink it, don't you? You get a pastry a bit... You get... Oh, yeah. You get What's up, Jackie? Pastry first, then the Right. You get sweet pastry first, then the pineapple, then the cream. Right, Lisa says you're getting this, the sweet pastry first, then the pineapple, then the cream. Let's have a go. It is a weird one, because really you are just tasting that pineapple on the inhale, but maybe around the edges you're getting a bit of that pastry. It is nice though, it's a nice natural taste in pineapple, isn't it? It's not like a candy one. Uh, so that is nice, not too sweet again, but uh, on the exhale, the aftertaste, you're getting a nice bit of sweetness, which complements that pineapple. But it's, uh, I'm not getting much of the flan. I've, you know, it doesn't taste overly desserty to me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it is. It's like when you've, like say, Lee says, when you've licked your lips. But it is a nice one, that is. But of those three I just uh, tried, the pumpkin flan, uh, not the best one I've tried, uh, to be honest. But then again, I haven't really had pumpkin flan before. So, But the coffee and milk was absolutely spot on. Nice barista uh, vape, that one. Really enjoyed that and the pineapple one i did enjoy i don't think it'd be an all-day vape but it's a pretty nice one that one so the rest of them we'll do next week uh, when santos has hopefully fixed his computer and uh, we can uh, get on with it but um mm, that is nice. i can't wait to vape on that coffee and cream again it's really nice 
Yeah, I might like some of that. <laughs> and the first thing in the morning. Mm. Off topic now, how are you getting on with your reload? I'm finding it far too restrictive. Uh, I thought that at first, Curly, but I like it. I've got a dual... Um, Complex calling there. It's coming out about 0.10 ohm, 0.09 on this parallel. Uh, it's lovely. Now I'm vaping the kerno back. It just tastes really tart in comparison. But um, yeah, I like it curly. But uh, the Juggernaut V2 is totally different. It's a little bit more airy or a lot more airy. This one will suit people who like to do it at slightly lower wattages, maybe s slightly smaller cores. What's up, Roy? How you doing, brother? Last time the Batman was vaping at 300 watts. Yeah, I know. I don't know how you can do that. Yeah, 2.5s will give you more airflow. I can't remember what I put in here now, but to be honest, I think it it's spot on, man. Show you my build. Where you been, Roy? You been down at band camp or so? Right, just go down low a, a minute. Right, curly chew. That's actually quite bright enough, isn't it? The threads on here are just buttery smooth, though. You can't fault it with this reload. There you go, that's what I've got in there. Get a little gap in the middle. We've got Kerno Black on here, so it's obviously very uh, purple sort of colour. But I think they look like three mils in there. But if you want to get more airflow, like um, what Ixtereb said, get yourself some two fives in there. But Kraken, if you like a semi-restrictive vape, you'll enjoy this one. back up yes I was at bank camp were you seriously right mine's got 0.15 joule 3 millimeter ID on a mech so I don't know the wattage well I'm using the I think it's 0 0.09 mate so on a regulated I was doing it around 60 to 70 but on here, you're obviously getting over 100. If you use vapecalc.com, you can put your resistance in there. No, that's not how you spell it. It's a handy little uh, tool there. If you click on that, Put your resistance in. See, obviously, my batteries, you're going to get voltage uh, drop and voltage sack because that says to me I should be having 196 watts, but it's nowhere near as uh, like that but normally with a mech even with the parallel you're only going to get about 3.8 3.9 volts going to it yes i do a live stream on facebook and youtube featuring marching bands all right never knew that right never knew sean connery played indiana jones dad yes michelle 
Yeah, he was a legend, proper legend, he was. Rest in peace, Sean. It does hit good. The other thing with ramp up and all that is what sort of uh, material you use. I use stainless steel, which does ramp up rather quick. Yeah, but that little vape count thing there, either that will get yourself a um, vape tool on Android, or I'm not sure if they do it on um, iPhone, but it's an app called Vape Tool. And if you look on here, you've got Call Calculator, Eliquid Brenda, Ohm's Law, stuff like that. So if you put Ohm's Law in, you can put your voltage resistance and it will give you a current and wattage. So say the voltage, say you had a freshly charged battery, 4.2 ohms, uh, volts, 0.1, and press calculate, and then it shows you your current, which says 42, which is usually far too much for a um, single battery. But I've got this in parallel, which is still only 4.2 volts, uh, but you're getting double the battery, uh, the amperage, capacity on it so in theory i've got a, a 60 amp limit on here because we're in parallel i have reviewed this on the channel but it's from tree of life box mods and uh, there's the two batteries i've got now i think i've got have i got molly cells or samson 30s i think these are the molly cell ones uh, but if you use samson 30s you're getting 35 amp but yeah vape tool is a good little tool on it. Just see on there, that's what the symbol looks like. Where are you? There you go, vape tool. You want to check it out. It's a free app. I think there might be a charge version as well, but it's uh, really good. You've got e liquid blender on there as well. So if you want to mix your own liquid, this tool is uh, invaluable. So you can put your nicotine strength in, like your base. You can put what percentage of VG, PG your base is, then any thinner you want to do. And then you can put your target amount of liquid you want and your uh, liquid strength, 3 mil, for example. Choose how much VG and PG you want to the final one. Add your flavours and then you get, you get your recipes there. And if just have a look at one I've done here. And then it spits out a... Uh, a recipe for you so this one here is just jam ripe cool i've just made it with a little bit of um culada in it i know it says minus 1.25 because i've got a vg base base i i um basically to get it to 80 20 i needed a little bit more uh, pg but uh, it was near enough but really good little tool this one because you can save your recipes in there and stuff like that NI80s culture, yeah, they ramp up nice and quick as well, but all oh, right, you love the reload 26. You got to try the new Vanny Vape RDA in the rec room. Yeah, I've seen that. I'm not a Vanny Vape lover, mate, because they treated me badly with customer service. Hence, I don't buy much of their stuff. Uh, but um, I, I have looked at it. It's a bit of a single call uh, jobby, isn't it? Incidentally, I've got a little selection of single calls here. Best coffee concentrate, Mark. I've, to be honest, Mark, I've never tried it. That that coffee vape I just had there by um, uh, Batman is the first coffee vape I've ever tried. Uh, it's that, to be honest, that is absolutely lovely. So if you're going to do that at a low wattage, obviously a short fill is going to cost a little bit more. But if you're only going to do it at 30 watts, it might last a little bit longer. But um, here's a few of my atties that we had wicked up uh, ready for this show with Batman. I've got a load of single coilers. You've already seen the, the Shogun here by Vapors Cloud. But... Uh, yeah, we've got some we got some nice ones here. We've got the Skyfall here. This is obviously a replica as well. 
Vapenort, this costs lots of money. Le Concorde, that's the Le Concorde actually, it's not the Skyfall. But it's real. If you want to go on the 3F Apple site, this is where I got a lot of my uh, reviews for my channel to start with. It cost about ten dollars each. Michael, yeah, I got it today. It's a really good flavour bang, single core, and maybe think about it. Yeah, I'll think about it, mate. But like I say, like, I'm quite. Uh, when I get stung by companies, mate, they, I don't uh, tend to buy them again. Like Steam Craze, another one that I don't use any of their stuff because they piss me off. Uh, they threw me out of a Facebook group for no reason, so uh, I won't um, review for them anymore or put any of my stuff up. Uh, I'm quite proud like that. So I couldn't give a shit what they've done in the past, but uh, you piss me off and I'll stop reviewing for you. But um, there's the Concorde. Three holes from the side on each side. Well, it's actually on one side, this particular one. I couldn't remember now. But what you can do is you can have it like in a mouth and lung style or put the cyclops on and you can just restrict the holes off. But this is one of my favourite ones. It costs about $10. But the build quality is exceptional. The authentic costs you probably £200, something like that. Well, I don't know actually. It's Vapanaut. Uh, some of these are brilliant. Other ones aren't quite so good. We've got the Reload. Nice, cheap, cheerful. Oh, nice, good one for juice reviews. Nice, cheap and cheerful. We've got the Barrage here by uh, Thesis. And uh, who makes this one? Asmodus. There we go. Skyfall. This isn't the Skyfall. It's the Radius V2. What are you talking about? SXK again. Another $10, $12, something like that. This brings back memories. This is when I first started the channel out. I got all these tanks. Bloody hard to get off. But there you go. This one's the airflow comes from the side and angles up towards it. Again, it's about two or three years old. Proper flavour bangers though. All of these little single call clones I got here. Again, the original costs an arm and a leg. But if you want to get yourself a flavour banger. 10 12 15 dollars check them out we got the smith rda this is a dual call I've reviewed this on the channel this is one of the best viewers on my channel you wouldn't believe it i bet no one none of you lot have heard of it Fifteen thousand views i've had on this one this is a dual call much like the bonza style uh, airflow they've got the ultim in there just like that Can't get the bugger on now. Yeah, the barrage is good. It isn't my favourite though, Michelle. Some of those uh, clones I find are a little bit better. Try putting the um there you go. I just took the actual skin off first, but this was a cheap one. I got this given free of charge uh, at the time. I think um what's the company called? Can't get it off now. That's the trouble. Some of these old school mods, they haven't got stoppers on. UD, that's right, UD. They used to send me stuff. We got the Reload S. Another single call banger. This one is a uh, clone as well. But the Reload 26 I've got is not a clone. But to be honest, the quality of this is pucker. You wouldn't notice the difference. My hands are all juiced up. There's your Reload S. So much like the Reload 26 single call flavour banger. That's what we're looking like there. So we've got airflow coming from the top again. And it is fully adjustable. And then we've got the Skyfall here. I know that uh, Reverend Vapes has reviewed the Authentica. This you had to jump through hoops to get that one, but you've got these little adapters here that you can unplug and push back in. 
uh, another cheap and cheerful little styly type hatty flavor banger there you go uh, and then we've obviously got the vena which is probably better for squonking like uh, Ixrib said in there got a bit of juice around the bottom as well and that is that but yeah a lot of those are what they were the first reviews I did on the channel when I got into doing the reviews what I used to do was I used to look on YouTube and see what was out there and what was not out there and lots of these little RDAs weren't out there so I thought oh, I'm going to get it buy a few in at a time and review them and that's what basically got me the views to start with got quite a few views from these uh, old school ones uh, unfortunately YouTube don't uh, they frown upon clone reviews these days so uh, you don't see many on there because you end up getting a strike ever tried the Alliance Tech Flav love that RDA um, I've got the Flav RTA which is basically a little RDTA and the flavour is absolutely awesome but it is a SXK not the original the only Alliance Tech one I've got is the Aston Vape uh, what's it called the Aston RTA Yeah, Michael, um, like I say, there's plenty of other manufacturers out there. Vandy Vape, although they do they do pump out some good stuff, they've also pumped out stuff that leaks a lot, like the Kylin series and stuff like that. Current best RTA, mate, what's your thoughts? Anything to beat the M25? Um, I prefer the Juggernaut V2 and the... Um, reload s mate uh, reload 26 i haven't reviewed it yet but um the m25 is, is good i had all sorts of issues though i don't know if you've seen my review i had to replace all of the o-rings because it used to just piss out and i mean piss out everywhere when i whipped it so i had to replace the o-rings with fatter ones from a, another tank so yeah that put me off the fatality a little bit even though it is a, a good one i just think the flavor i'm getting out of the reload 26 is crisp got it from the petty vapor 20 percent off i think they've got it cheaper than most places anyway it was 48 euros plus 28 uh, 20 percent off if you make an account you'll see prices cheaper as well much like Source More. Um, the Juggernaut V2 I love because it's top airflow and uh, I just love it. It's more air, much more airy than the Reload. So if you like a more of an airy vape, you might not like the Reload. But the uh, Juggernaut V2 is a lot airy than the, the V1. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty much perfect for me, fully open. But uh, the M25 is a little bit restrictive, if I remember cor correctly. I haven't wicked it up for a while. But uh, I just think the JKV2 it looks awesome. 30 millimeters. Just think it looks really good. That's probably my tank of the year until I got the Reload 26. The trouble with this one, it's got a couple of cons. I haven't reviewed it yet. But this airflow ring, when you fill up with juice and you take the top cap off, you do get juice everywhere. If you put too much juice in, you feel it round here. And it's a little bit annoying since it's top airflow. You don't want to have like juice everywhere. So you've got to make sure you don't overfill it inside there. Otherwise, when you put the top cap down, it will like come out the, the top. But dual core RTAs for me at the moment are JK20 jk2 and the reload 26 single core the aston rta this jobby here that i've just got i'm really enjoying the pioneer i've not tried it in mouth along yet though uh but yeah adrian got to get some of that coffee and milk thanks mf8 but got to bounce thanks everyone for a great evening cheers adrian thanks for tuning in mate I'll be going very shortly anyway. We've been going two hours. I can't believe it. Yeah, any other questions you want to give me, guys? Another five minutes or so, and then we'll call it a night.
anyone likes um, Stockholm tanks, this Nautilus GT Mini is awesome for a mouth to lung vape. No worries, Mark. Like I say, it is restrictive though. Even if you take the the top cap off, Mark, I'll just show you. If you take off the AFC ring, you just notice those um, airflow holes. Even with it like that, yeah. It's pretty much perfect like that, to be honest. But um, if you like it super airy, you might not like that. But I think if you like the M25 with the uh, Ultim uh, reducer with all those honeycombs, that does that's quite restrictive. So I think you will like this. But I just think that the flavour with the Kerno Black in it is just tremendous. So I've had this liquid in here for two weeks, and and it's the, you saw the call down below, the calls in there, and they're still all right. So it's pretty kind on calls as well. Can't get the bloody top cap on now. Have I got it round the right way? There you go, I've got it on. Yeah, that thing isn't the smoothest in the world getting that on, but the bottom thread is really good cheers curly nice for you to tune in mate appreciate it right guys we'll wrap it up then uh we've been going over two hours now it's uh time to call it a night um once again sorry that santos couldn't be with us but he he has said that he will be up for next Saturday, so hopefully he's got his new PC sorted by then. He had to pop out uh, and go for a two-hour drive to pick up some RAM that would suit his new PC because the one that he had in it didn't work and he was having all sorts of trouble. So, yeah, the proper juice review, and we'll have a little NASA with Santos about all of the Saboras, Delis, and Kante and Kanto range next week. Everyone that's tuned in tonight, I've had a real blast. We reviewed the Vaporesso bar. We've done a little juice review. We did uh, three juices as well. Had a few first looks. So, yeah, I really enjoyed the show. It was good uh, for you lot to join in. Really do appreciate it. So, until next week, uh, same time, it'll be 9 o'clock again next Saturday, and hopefully Santos will be on. So, Big love to you all on the way out. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see. If you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe, hit the notification bell as well, and you'll be notified of when our next go live or do my next review. So until next time, guys, stay safe out there, and I'll see you all again next week. All right, cheers, guys. See you later.